Hi everyone, Susie here with another video. Today I'm going to show you how to print a YouTube video transcript. This process is really great for those students who need to watch videos for their classes. Printing out transcripts will allow students the ability to make notes while following along. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get to it. The first thing you want to do is open your YouTube video you want to watch. If you're a student and the professor posts a video and it has a YouTube logo at the bottom, simply click the YouTube logo to open the video in a separate browser. Once the video is on your web browser, locate the small menu at the bottom right hand corner of the video. You should see a thumbs up, a thumbs down, a share, a save, and three dots. Now go ahead and click on the three dots and select Open Transcript. If the option is not available, likely the video does not have a transcript and you will not be able to proceed further. But for most learning videos, there is a transcript. Once the selection is made, you'll see a transcript dialog box open to the right of the video. Next, you'll want to highlight or select by placing the arrow at the beginning of the transcript, pressing and holding the left mouse button and dragging your mouse down, selecting all the text in the transcript. Once the text is selected, right click on one of the highlighted words. Do not left click or you will lose your selection. When you right click, you will see a new menu. Go ahead and select Print Selection. Print Selection will now open a print dialog box. You should see a preview of your selection. At this point, do not print. If you do, you will waste paper. However, if you wish to print, you may go ahead. Note, this example transcript comes from a 20 minute video, and at this stage, it has eight pages to print. Keeping the dialog box open, again, highlight or select the text within the preview window. Be patient, the preview window can be a little finicky and may take a little longer to highlight. Wait for the system to catch up. It shouldn't take long. Once the text is highlighted, right click on one of the words that is highlighted. Another menu will appear. You should only have the option to copy. If you have other options, that's fine, but select copy. Now open a Word document. I'm using Microsoft Word. I do not suggest Notepad or any other simple word editor because it might not have the find and replace option that you will need for the next step. However, if you choose a simple word editor, that's okay. You'll just have to skip the find and replace step. In the blank document, right click and choose paste. In Word, choose keep source formatting. You should now see the text pasted into the document as one big paragraph. At this point, you can save the document, print it, edit it, or do whatever you want. However, I will show you one more step to help you eliminate the video title that gets strewn into the mix. Select Replace in the editing box in the top menu. You will see a Find and Replace editing dialog box appear on your screen. Scroll through your transcript and locate one instance of the date, title, and YouTube address. Highlight it. Do not worry about the page numbers or the timestamps as you see here in red. Once you've highlighted this, you can either go to the menu and select Copy, or you can press Ctrl-C. Then go to the Find and Replace dialog box and either using the Menu Paste selection or pressing Ctrl-V, paste the selection 
in the find what box. Then in the replace with box, just press the spacebar once. Once that's done, click on replace all. This will replace all the instances of the date, title, and YouTube address with a space. This is useful to help the flow of the transcript a bit and sometimes can cut down on paper space. That's it. You can either continue editing, add a title, save, or print your transcript. I hope this video was helpful. If you liked the video, please remember to hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell icon too so you'll never miss another how-to video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.